Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're taking a look at some of the developer feedback. Uh, this did come on Saturday. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording over the weekend, so we missed that. Also, before we get into it, uh, to the regular stream goers, I finally got what my family has had for the last two weeks. So I'm going to put this video out and then I'm probably going to head back to bed. So no stream today. Uh, we'll tee up for Wednesday um, and should have plenty of summons with the new hero that should be dropping on Global by then. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is a good developer feedback. I like this one. There's, there's a few interesting things noted in this one. Um, so for the first one, question, will rank rewards for the Fabled Realm be adjusted in the future? So the Fabled Realm was that thing. So in the Twisted Realm, there used to be a, a point where people would stop leveling their, uh, their crystal because if they went into the next bracket, They'd, go, they'd get less rewards because they wouldn't be at the top. So they introduced the Fabled Realm for everyone above a certain level uh, in the crystal, which resets every, I think, two weeks, um, like the, the level requirement, so that if you're above that, you can keep pushing your levels and know you will get the legend rewards. So what do they say? Uh, in regards to the Fabled Realm, our initial intention was never to overemphasize rank rewards nor the pressure that some players may have felt in pursuit of attaining these rewards. For future updates, we're hoping to use a different form of reward, one which has less emphasis on resource collection and more emphasis uh, on achievements slash accolades. Players that obtain a high rank will be able to feel a great sense of pride for having achieved their goals. Another benefit of reaching such a high rank is that there are bonuses, bonuses which can be shared amongst guildmates of these high ranking individuals so i'm not too sure what the issue is with rewards i've never made it there i'm not too stressed about it um i think it's because you're obviously getting your juice and stuff like that um your tree juice and all that sort of stuff so i guess people are feeling too pressured to get up into the fabled realm but i thought they were just giving fabled realm players the standard um rewards but it must be increased drops for being in there so i guess they're going to try and balance that out because i guess that means some people feel like they have to wail to get to that level to go ahead and do it so if they just give some like you know achievement accolades aesthetic something like that i think it'd be fine um see what happens next question will i be able to acquire dimensional crossover heroes that were released in previous crossover events this is a good question and i'm glad they actually threw it in here it, it seems like the kind of question that might get dodged but they actually put it in this is a topic which has received a fair amount of attention and we're thankful for the suggestions and feedback we've received from you although some new players may view limited edition heroes as something negative that perhaps takes away from the overall game experience we still need to stay true to those players uh, which have already acquired these heroes We've recently been considering implementing a new type of feature, which for, which for now we'll call special hires, that will allow players to hire out limited edition dimensional heroes from other players for extended periods of time at the expense uh, of free in-game resources. For other players that loan out their heroes, they'll be able to receive rewards in the form of companion points for their contributions. So for me, I, the, the, okay, so for me, I, I'm curious to see what everyone else thinks. It says we still need to stay true to the players which already acquired those heroes. I don't think anyone who already acquired the heroes would be upset if new players could get said heroes. They'd only be upset if they could get them cheaper, I feel. Um, like, you know, for less in-game resources. I still think my idea of having like Ghost, Silhouette, Generic McGee, Mage that has exactly Irons' abilities, like, but doesn't have his appearance or his name and they can rename the abilities, but it does the exact same thing. And you have a permanent exchange shop where you can get like these silhouette characters that are just like, like, like just make him like a general wizard with a stick as a staff. And like, so you got no crossover in the, in the like looks of him. It's not like an iron silhouette. It's just like a generic wizard make a permanent exchange for all of dimensionals, but have them in, it's like generic characters with different names and rename the abilities, but they're exactly the same. And you can't have both the crossover character and the silhouette character. And that means everyone can get them, but it's still, you're going to have to do the dimensional exchange for whatever it costs the, the, like back in the day, 
to do it. I feel like that would be sick. I don't know if it's blurring lines on um, on the uh, you know the IP and the contracts and stuff like that, but I feel like it should be fine. Once again, I've said this before. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just say that because I hope it would be. But I feel like that would be the, the easiest way. Like Once again, staying true to the players that which already acquired those heroes, I don't think anyone's going to care. I personally don't, but hey, that might just be me. You guys might get salty if other people could get them. Um, but once again, I feel like I feel like that would be to an extent where newer players can get the functionality of them. Keeping in mind, dimensionals also increase the level of your crystal. Um, so like i know this is like whale territory but if you have every if you come into the game now whale to the fullest extent you still won't be able to get the same level cap as someone who's collected the dimensionals so i don't know i don't know that's just my feels i'd love to see an exchange but hey being the the permanent um well the extended higher hell man depending on how extended it is if, it, if it's like i pay a thousand diamonds and i get irons for a week man i'm pushing campaigns so hard <laughs> on my new account like 100 percent, i'm pushing him um but yeah it it, it, it depends how limited um because special hires and being at only dimensions doesn't matter because the only thing anyone wants to hire for campaign like any low level character is an irons you just mercenary and irons any stage you're hard stuck at put irons in instant win move on to the next one so hey if you if you're gonna let, if you're gonna let me push with the 30 signature item irons from the start of the, from the start of the game for for some in, in game resources <laughs> i'm all for that i am 100 percent all for that so and then and like staying true to the the player base will people then get salty that other players can do that I'm not saying that's what they'll do anyway you guys get it let's zoom out let's move on to the next one which is this one here so let's zoom back into about there that should be good okay many players get stuck on chapter 34 are there any plans to adjust its difficulty? The issue was brought to our attention in our previous update and we plan on adjusting the difficulty of chapters 33 through 39 with the implementation. Yeah, well, we already had that in the notes. Uh, going forward, we'll be exploring ways to help aid players through tricky stages while still posing a challenge. In short, we're striving to make stage progression a smoother, more enjoyable experience. Uh, one example which could be implemented to is to reduce the difficulty of a chapter once a certain number of players have completed it. I mean, that's pretty much what they do. They they gradually reduce the difficulty of previous floors of tower and previous chapters to smooth progression. I think it's what they're already, already doing. I just think chapter 34 was like a particularly tough one because every, every time I jumped onto someone's account on chapter 34 everyone was on chapter 34 you know i'm not good enough to be there yet but hey one day i'll grow up anyway moving on from that uh i might have leveled up the wrong hero are there any uh any plans for a type of hero reset scroll item so this is in those leaks that we talked about in a previous video those little chest things so this is interesting Yes, a prime example of a similar feature uh, which already exists is the Dimensional Hero Soul Fusion feature, which allows for lesser used heroes to still stay relevant and be utilized instead of falling to the wayside. In future updates, you can expect something akin to a hero swap feature that will allow players to shift resources from a hero that may have been leveled up incorrectly to another hero of their liking. I hope when it just says leveled up, I hope they're talking signature items, furnitures. Uh, like I'm hoping we can just swap that stuff over. I think it's great. Once again, with this, as I've spoken about before, with this type of feature, I don't want it to be that you can do it like all the time, even if it's costly, because then players, it, it becomes a bad feature where players feel obligated that every every piece of content they go into, they have to reset things. I feel like getting one of these per month is perfectly fine one every two months whatever like i just feel like don't over do this like even though it's a fantastic feature and I, I i think we need it i think if you make it too accessible then people feel obligated to keep changing um and then it becomes less fun let me know what you guys think about that but i i think we definitely need something like that but once again if it becomes like a thousand diamonds to swap resources then do you feel like how many how many times do you feel obligated to do that so i feel like 
um, giving us monthly quests and uh, having it as one of the monthly quest rewards uh, it would be sweet. Um, or even just putting in the weeklies, whatever. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, are there any new game modes in the pipeline? We are currently working on a new game mode called The Hunting Fields, which will be seasonal that allows a small team of five people to cooperate with one another. Uh, within The Hunting Fields, players will be able to strengthen their own hero's power by making use of AFK rewards, occupying land, completing side tasks, and defeating minor bosses all with the final goal of defeating ultimate bosses in mind. Okay, defeating bosses, basically mini abyssal is what they're talking about. Seasonal, don't know how long the seasons will be, have to see. Another curious thing is with five people, can you re-enter again and help other people? Because at the end here, for the players that are worried about not having enough time to play this feature, they can set their minds at ease by knowing there will, all, uh, there will be ways to attain rewards by playing alongside other players. So it sounds like someone's gonna be able to carry me. So hopefully people can re-enter and just carry as many people like me as possible. But uh, I think that is the last one. But really, really, honestly, I, I like this. Um, my, my favorite two were definitely this one. Um, this one and also the fact that they went into the talk about the dimensionals because I thought they would have just avoided that. So it's good that they went into it. I still think I'm, I'm keen to see what the feature they implement is, um, but I still think hopefully they can do something a little bit further because I've never been a big fan of exclusive heroes in games, just personally. Um, I just know if I jump into a game and it's got exclusive heroes, it's like, oh, what? I can't get that anymore. That's sad. Um, but yeah. Nice little bunch of notes. I'm really pumped for this thing the hero reset scroll. Hopefully it works the way I think with signature items and furniture. It'd be really nice. But uh, once again, guys, sorry about stream. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to upload this and head to bed. But um, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.